In this video, we'll be talking about grade 12 graphs of cubic functions. So we'll be looking at the increasing function as well as the decreasing function. In this case, it looks like we have an increasing function between point y1 and point y2. So a decreasing function has the function of a on the left, and which must be greater than the function of b on the right, where yA is higher than yB. Let's look at the derivative test. The first derivative gives you the gradient. If you have a positive gradient, it means that the graph or function is going upwards. If you have a negative gradient, it means it's going downwards. A zero gradient, however, means that there is a stationary point, as you can see over here. Now, when the function of x is taken as a derivative, and that derivative is equal to zero, we call this a local maximum or a local minimum. In this case, we will be looking at a local maximum. So let's look at the derivative of the function c, where it's greater than naught. On the left-hand side, we say it's positive. On the, if it's less than naught, however, on the right-hand side, we say it's negative. It just looks like this. So on the left-hand side of this parabola, we see a positive gradient or a positive first derivative. On the right-hand side, we see a negative. And at the top, we see a stationary point. So let's look at a local minimum. As we know, on the left-hand side for local maximum, the first derivative is positive and right hand side would be negative. It's quite the opposite though for a local minimum. The first derivative is always less than zero, which means it's decreasing on the left hand side. However, on the right hand side, it's always positive. Therefore, it's increasing on the right. As you can see, the blue represents the left and the green represents the right. There's no local maximum or minimum if the derivative on either side is the same. So if it's the same positive on the left and positive on the right, there's no local max and local or local minimum. So if we look at this, there's two points left and right, we draw a function. The derivative on the left-hand side would be negative and the derivative on the right would be positive.